Now before I start this video, you may be thinking to yourself, I'm different, I'm not like every other trans guy. And if you think this list does not pertain to you, please, I implore you, stay until the end of the video. What is up y'all, my name is Devin and today I'm going to be talking about shit that every single trans guy does without fail. We all kind of do the same shit, we all kind of go through the same phases. Before I get into that, make sure if you're new here, new as a not subscribe, go ahead and support me please. We're almost at 5k, I'm trying to get to 10k, please press subscribe and let's comment trans in the comment section down below. If you're interested in one-on-one coaching or you're interested in purchasing a meal or a training plan from me, go ahead and email me devindiscoaching at gmail.com, it will be in the description down below. Without further ado, I present to you shit every single trans guy does. I'm calling myself out specifically, okay? Myself and a thousand other fucking trans guys, I'm positive. So, the first thing on the list is getting a tattoo of your testosterone start date. Your T date, essentially, okay? That's mine right there. I'm ashy as fuck, please ignore that. I get so many compliments about this tattoo that it's not even funny. I think a lot of regular, straight, like, cis guys. Oh, babe, I can't lick that anymore. It makes me sick. Bro, I got this new idea for a sexuality. It's called Super Straight. Really fuck with the concept of Roman numerals. So many trans guys get their T-date as a tattoo, and I understand why. It's because you spend so much of your time. For me, I spent two years not being on testosterone. You just spend so much of your time looking forward to this day that's gonna change you for the rest of your life. It's gonna take you from being a preteen, you look like a baby boy essentially before you're in testosterone for most of us. I was looking forward to starting tea so much and I was like, yo, when I finally accomplish that milestone, I am going to get a tattoo of it. And I went big, you gotta go big or go home, right? It's not to say like, oh, these stereotypes are embarrassing or anything like that. It's just so funny that we are sort of like hive brain. I think this needs to be like way less prominent within trans guys, blasting our faces with minoxidil and attempts to get facial hair. I know myself pre T. I watched every fucking minoxidil beard update video of a bunch of pre-T guys and trans guys who were using minoxidil to get facial hair. And a lot of times people would DM me and ask me, do I use minoxidil for my facial hair? And if you think this prepubescent as fucking pubic hair ass beard is the result of any chemical enhancement, you are mistaken. The old wives tale that if you shave hair, it grows back thicker. Once in your life, you probably heard someone explain that if you start shaving somewhere new, the hair will grow back. As far as scientists can tell, this is not a thing. And I don't know if that's true or not. It certainly did not hold true for me. I shaved the fuck out of my face hella times before starting testosterone. I remember when I first started watching YouTube and trans guys. This is gross. I'm showing you nasty ass peach fuzz. You can't see it. Oh, well. Wow, this is riveting. See, I've never shaved, I've only shaved my lip. I haven't shaved the rest of my- It's like your first shave on testosterone. So I know this is a weird time for you. Your body is changing, you're growing hair, and you need to know how to trim that shit down. At one point I was shaving for like gender euphoria, but now I'm shaving so I don't look fucking dirty because the neck beard is real. I'm doing the most so y'all can see how filthy it looks when I don't shave. This is not having shaved my face. For two days, the hair grows more so on my neck than anywhere else on my face. I was going in with the razors and there was absolutely nothing fucking there to shave but it made me feel like a man and that's all that mattered whatever you can do to give you that gender euphoria there's no shame in doing all the things that we do kind of shows that we all take similar paths a lot of us even though we're very fucking different we do all have different backgrounds we all sort of go through the same thing and feel the same sort of emotions in a certain sense cat please it makes me feel sort of more connected with my you know my trans homie so it's super fucking cool that is the video y'all if you are guilty not that it's a negative thing but if you are guilty of doing any of those things that every trans guy does drop that in the comment section down below go ahead and follow me on my instagram my tiktok if you're interested in personal training or a customized plan from me go ahead and email me and like i always say devin loves you devin's a dawn and devin is out of here boy ah